she was like, what is it I don't know about you, Terry Crews? Because we had been arguing all night. Mm. And those words, I remember just hanging up. And then I laid there in the bed. And I was like, you know what? Keep the lie, keep the lie, don't tell her. And I was in that room and I was like, man, how could I do this? And I was like, how did I do that? What happened is I was up in Vancouver. I decided for the first time to go to a massage parlor. And I heard about things, but she's like, well, I'll just, no, I'll go get a massage. You literally justified. I went there and was unfaithful. When it was over, I remember going back to my room and I was like, I, I crossed the line. Even thinking about it now, it was so dark, you know what I mean? I remember just going back in the room. I went back and I was like, how did I do that? And I was like, it sunk in on me that I knew. I said, oh my God. I had, I, and then I called a friend and he said, Terry, look, I cannot guarantee you or promise you that your wife will ever come back. But you have a problem. I called him up and I told him. I'll never forget the gas on the other end of the line. It was like, oh. she said, oh my God. She said, Terry, don't come home. Mm. You don't have a home to come to. He said, Terry, you have to hold yourself accountable. You, you think there are no consequences for your actions, but there are always consequences for every act you do, everything, good or bad. But then, when you mess your whole life up, being a fool, you become a victim. The table is always full of excuses. And I went through the process of guilt, of, of making sure I was guilty. I knew what, I, I said, I put my wife through this. Mm. I put my family through this. I, I did this, I did this. Now let me correct it. Let me tell you, it, and I have to say this, the forgiveness that my wife showed me was, a, was what I say, a car-carrying lesson for any person ever. Because, and I understand why people get divorced. I do. I, first of all, I should be. Mm -hmm. But this woman, fine, uh, this is the thing, this is the intimacy that I always, always wanted. Because she saw me for who I was, for real. And she said, Terry, I love you anyway. Yeah. Wow. That's all you want. Yeah. That's all I ever wanted. All I ever wanted was to be seen mm -hmm. for who I was. And I was like, you love me? Like, I, I thought it was real. I was like, I thought she wouldn't come back. Mm -hmm. But she did. She said, but Terry, I love you. And man, that blew me away. Because I was living this man life, and uh, here I am. You see me as nothing. I'm like, I'm feeling about myself. Like, I feel like I'm worth dirt. And she was like, oh, I love you. And man, that changed everything. It was like, oh, the thing that I needed, I was running from the whole time. I was running from it the whole time. And I vowed, I said, after that, I said, my God, my God. I can correct this. This is mm. fixable. Mm. This is fixable. This is not something. This is what I learned through through counseling, and I continue to, to this day. I mean, it's been ten years of constant, constant work. That's accountability. You pay the price. Forgiveness and accountability go hand in hand. You know what I mean? And that's 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 what I have dedicated my life to doing. Yeah. We need to say what it is we did wrong. I'm not spreading shit, but I am saying we need to say we're guilty.